Alright. Pull a drop top minivan with the flat hey. hey. Can he paint wet? Hubba bubba gum. Seats with the sheep fur peach fuzz. Big it in. When I whip it back, Joe Lee. Hey, look, pull a drop top minivan with. That's a big ass bar. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we are back after two weeks. I know. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. But today we are reacting to 12 scary videos. I wish I could unsee. Now, could these videos really be that scary? The last one was pretty good. Like I gotta admit, by Nuke Top Five, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, Nuke Top Five. But we are watching Chills today. You know the classic. But guys, today number fifteen. <laughs> Get up, niggas fire, Peter Pan, call me Dapper Dan Yes, I got a family, no money up in my hand And I got a cannon, no nigga, no drummer Getting creeped out is what this list is all about So let's jump straight into the scary videos Number 12 What would you do if you caught your neighbor on camera Looking into your bedroom window late at night A Florida resident thinks that's what happened to them After his camera caught a mysterious figure Peering in late at night at random Whoever it is has their head deep in the window they aren't knocking on the window with an emergency. They're getting a good eyeful of something and then walking away. The person seems to walk back to the house next door. So it was probably their neighbor after all. Some random person would probably. Okay. First off, you ain't, you're not just about to look through my window like that. Do you know what? Pro See, this is the exact reason. He know like, if this dude does not have no blinds and he's black too, bro. Like, I do not understand people who do not have blinds. Why don't you have blinds? Like, you just gonna... I, I remember uh, I was driving uh, home. Well, I, and this dude had literally probably a 60-inch TV. You can see what he was watching. I think he was watching... I don't know what he was watching, but he was watching a whole movie. We can see, The whole world can see it. He had no blinds. It's just a big window, and we can see exactly what he was watching. Like, what if one day a robber came by and just tried to rob you? Probably walk back onto the street, unless they were going to look into the neighbor's window too, which is a possibility, I suppose. Get out my the window, only guy. The is you don't really get to ever see his face, and it's tough to prove somebody is guilty beyond reasonable doubt from the back of their head. Do you think this video is enough to prove that the neighbor's responsible? Or is there not enough evidence to go on? Number You can tell by his body figure though, like you can tell like he got that haircut where he's like bald at the top and the side. Like you can easily tell if you're if it's your neighbor or not. Like you live next to the guy. You can tell. Come on now. Eleven. There's someone down there. I'm literally shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Hello? What? I don't see nothing. A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. Is there someone in here? Make your presence known. Do something now. <gasps> okay. This is, I don't, I do not understand anybody who does this. Move! Like, if something happens in your house, move. Like, people always will, like, stay. See, this is how you know YouTubers will do anything to get some content these days. Like, bro, I'm not about to stay in the middle of the night with these paranormal activities going on. I can't sleep. I barely can sleep how it is. You think I can sleep with these paranormal activities going on? No, bro. I'm moving. <gasps> He shakes throughout the entire 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. I'm gonna set my camera up right 
now. I'm pointing down the stairs of the basement just to see if we can capture anything at all in the basement, guys, overnight. Tell me if he was really scared or just pretend. Hold on. What's his name? Andrew Duffy? Let's see. Andrew Duffy. Okay. We're going to figure this out. Andrew Duffy. Let's see. Let's see how many subscribers. Okay. 440K. Okay. Let's see what views he make. Okay. He make decent views. He make decent views, I guess. Okay. Decent views to move out the house. The only time the camera doesn't shake is when he sets it on a tripod and goes back to his room. The ghost sighting is what's finally caught on camera, although I think it could be editing. The Ooh. Um, oh my god. It could be editing. That That is creepy. <laughs> I can't give me the chills. No, chills. Don't, don't copyright this video, please. Okay. But shoot, if that's some editing. It's something like people would take the time to like really edit this video to make sure it's like really good. Uh, it could be fake, but it couldn't be at the same. I don't know. It could be. But I thought ghosts couldn't be caught on camera. That's all I'm saying. But you know, Andrew Duffy obviously can. Ghost itself looks good, but the way the ghost leans in at 9 minutes and 10 seconds looks kind of stiff and animated. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on this one. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Like, why is he looking directly at the camera? Like, that ghost can be doing anything else, but he has to be looking at the camera? Like, come on, man. Come on. Number 10. The adventurer Abdullah al Anbari goes exploring an abandoned building in Saudi Arabia in search of a poltergeist, or a jinn as it's referred to in the area. There are many floors to explore and each one holds horrors of its own. He turns around to see a mysterious figure that could be a jinn or more likely the shadow of the banister in front of it. He continues to explore and the paranormal activity continues to stay one step ahead of him. The ghost keeps throwing objects at him, guiding him in a way towards a final confrontation that he is not ready to witness. Okay, bro. Who is this? Casper's uncles? Bro, come on now. What kind of ghost is going to throw stuff at you? Like, oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely staged. First of all, why would you go this go here by yourself in at night? In these creepy buildings. I don't understand why people do this. Not just because there's ghosts. Like, bro, look at all that mess around there. Like, bro, what do you at? Your old great 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 grandfather's basement? Like, come on, man. Come on. Stop it, bro. Like, that easily can be like somebody downstairs making noise. Like, one of his friends or something. This could easily be staged. Like, come on. Show me some real stuff. No. He looks up in time to capture a glimpse of a scary round face peering down at him. What? Tell me what he says to it on his way out. What Whatever do you mean a round face? Says seems to cause him much anger based on what happens next. What do you mean a round? <laughs> he quickly leaves before the spirit becomes any more upset. Number nine. This was, viral video was, was garbage. leaked onto Facebook after fast food workers were caught on camera doing creepy things that would horrify health inspectors. Not only do they throw food on the floor, they wipe it in a circle to pack in as much extra filth as possible. She goes back to making it like it's no big deal at all, making contact with the bun with the spatula. And then she puts it right back in with the rest. Now everything with mayonnaise is contaminated for the rest of the day, including your meal if you were next in line. Number eight. Okay. 
I mean, that wasn't scary. I mean, it's scary that it's really unhealthy. I mean, not unhealthy, but like really unsanitary. Who does that? Like, especially recorded. Like, you just expose yourself. I understand people who like do something bad in it and just record it. Like, bro, you look stupid. Like, what restaurant was that? That better not be McDonald's. Hey, we never know. McDonald's already got some stuff up their sleeve. Timothy Bartlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? No. Hi, Billy. I'm here. Billy. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? Guys, I can do that too. Watch, guys. You ready? You ready? I can totally do that too. Watch. I, I can totally do that too. Hey, Billy. Like, bro, they easily can just be a long stream that can be attached to that chair. Like, all you gotta do is tie a thin string, especially since this dude is recording on a track phone. Like, that's how you know these videos are fake because, first of all, these videos are recording at 144p. So they easily can fake it so you can, like, not really see well. Like, I want somebody to record a, a scary video at 8k. A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. Exactly. He just said what I said. Like, people, these fake videos always record at the worst video quality. Like, come on, man. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. Number oh, seven. Oh, 2012. Okay. Bernie DMJ1 is deleting okay. security cam videos off his Ring app when he sees something really bizarre walk across his driveway. Or rather, it's what he doesn't see. The presence of a reflection, but the lack of a body to cause it. A shadow passes in front of the car and yet no one can be seen. He says this is a ghost or a shadow figure sighting for certain, but I'd like to offer a non-paranormal explanation. Maybe this is the shadow of someone across the street. Number six. Exactly. There's a restaurant in West Bromwich <laughs> called New Talbot that everyone in the UK has been saying is haunted. This phone caught moving on a security camera belongs to a manager who says it was not set on vibrate at the time and thinks it could have been a ghost. That's because this is the same booth where one of the customers passed away, a regular who they were all friends with. The phone is near the edge of a flat surface when it happens, but not hanging over. It looks like it was pulled from something underneath, maybe a ghost like he says. Or maybe. Guys, I don't think y'all believe me. Or maybe somebody is under the table. I'm, I'm just saying. I, I, I could just be making stuff up. Like, somebody somebody could be just pulling the phone under the table. I don't know, guys. I don't, I, I don't know. Some unexplained lights float over the exact same spot. Ghost orbs in both their opinion and mine. So this is probably real paranormal activity caught on tape. Number five. Some super creepy moments caught on home security <laughs> video have left a man in India wondering if there is something wrong with his camera or the neighborhood at large. Let's help him decide if this strange activity is paranormal. A loud motorcycle goes by his house twice so he looks at the security video, which looks fairly normal at first until you notice there's actually no motorcycle and barely the phantom image of a rider. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that make the, the second time oh it goes God. by is extra creepy because it seems to dissolve away even more and yet the headlights are on the entire time, which could be proof that this paranormal activity is more than just a glitch. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, I don't think this is the editing software he's using. That's pretty good. I, I don't know how he doing this. 
Uh, I can't really explain this one, boys. Uh, I don't know how he did that. Could be some masking or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I can't explain Number that one. Number four. Sometimes if you want to know if a room... Whoa, bro. What's going on here? Clean your room, my guy. See, this is the exact reason why I pulled up my carpet in my room. Because carpet gets so dirty. Look how dirty his carpet is. If you're going to have carpet, hoover it. He got bottles all over the place. He got... He got uh, uh, T-shirts on the floor. What is that? Is that a cat bit? Come on. Miss haunted or not, all you have to do is ask. Move it. Holy. It's creepy, but I'm not sure this object really moved on its own. It sounds like a fan is blowing from side to side and could have moved the object instead of a ghost. Tell me if you hear it. Holy. He might Bro, have put the bottle hear the at fan. just the right distance to make it seemingly move upon his command. Is this moment paranormal to you? I'm on the fence with this one. Number I'm three. I'm not. Ryan Prunty is certain their estate is haunted. Bro, what you gotta do? Pee pee? Bro. <laughs> bro, I swear these YouTubers are amazing actors, man. I told you, bro. What is that face? That's us face when you got to pee on a three-hour road trip to Wisconsin Dales, man. Like, <laughs> trust me, we all had them times on the road trip. We had to pee on a pee in the bottom and pee in the side of the road. That's that face we got to do. You said, "Ma, I gotta pee." Like, that's that's that face right there. And said, after this creepy look at him in their attic happened. Let's take a look at what he and his friend caught on tape and see if it's really paranormal. Is that Billie Eilish? <laughs> It doesn't look like the door got stuck by itself. At 11 minutes and 34 seconds, the locking mechanism has been turned into a horizontal locked position. Someone, either a ghost or one of their roommates, must have been on the other side. They force open the door and less than a minute later, this mysterious orb guides them to another weird event. No one else is home and yet they see wet footprints outside of the shower that lead to nowhere. Maybe one of them showered and left, but I think most people would pick up the towel first. It's a creepy video, but all of these ghostly encounters would be easy to fake with the help of a third person. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what they did. Number two. <laughs> This creepy video is what happens when you go ghost hunting around Ireland's haunted woods of Newton Abbey. Helly, did you hear the word Amber? I don't hear anything, but I do see a strange mist has been caught on camera. Paranormal, I'd say, because it doesn't look like their breath. It happens twice, here at 26 seconds and again at 28 seconds. I hear they have a lot of foggy weather in Ireland, so maybe this is a small patch of fog they've caught on camera. Yeah, maybe some fog. Like, bro, come on, bro. I I swear I've seen some scarier stuff with this, man. A, f a piece of fog? Bro, what was that, a piece of cotton? Like, come on, dude. I want to see some 8K ghost attacking footage that's why i want to see i want to see the ghost's face like i don't want to see no corn little, little little corner peak ghost i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on this video let's get this video to five likes five likes is all national corber just five likes if you guys want more of these type of videos i know i haven't been uploading this in december i i know i said i was gonna upload guys it's hard to come up with video ideas you know i try my best to be original but there will be a video probably on christmas or after christmas we'll see because you know i mean i gotta record on christmas everybody coming over for christmas so i gotta rec probably it's gonna probably gonna come that saturday so we'll see we'll see well yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're five away from 300 just subscribers Th 300 subscribers what did i just Speak what? Let me just be quiet. Good.
Look, there's a ghost behind you. Look, psych boy. Bah. 